All right, guys, this is the beginning of the crowds for Memorial Weekend up here at Mill Creek on the 38. Check this out. Wow. I have, in my life, I have never, <laughs> have never seen it this packed up here. That's crazy. Wow. This looks like straight out of, like, I don't even know where I've seen crowds like this. That's crazy. They're double parked over here. Like, there's literally people double parked where if you were parked there, you wouldn't get out. I can't really even see the riverbed from here because of the trees, but that's crazy. And then right up here, this is another area right up here where it should be pretty bad. But man, I've never seen it that bad. Look at this. And the access is kind of tough up here, so there's not as many cars uh, just past this, but there's a few areas. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's tents out there. There's people, you know, I don't, I don't really care. I mean, they, they enjoy it. I just hope that they pick up the trash. That's all I hope for. But wow, I have just never seen this many people up here. That's a lot of people. Dang. Pretty busy on the mountain. So pretty nice up here at the top of the mountain, only 75 degrees. So that's much better than the 91 we saw when we were at the base of the mountain. But uh, we're just, just getting in here to the Angeles Oak city limits. So if you're ever up here, there's a nice little store right over here. They got um, little things like, you know, little supplies and stuff. But right now they're just asking that people that don't live up here uh, don't use this. So they uh, have it for just uh, locals only basically to get supplies but I'm guessing pretty soon they're gonna want uh, that tourist dollar to start coming in and giving them some money but yeah cool cool little stores So this is a little side spur not too far out of Angeles Oaks. You can take, just gotta watch out for uphill traffic. Yeah, guys, just out doing a little drive here on the Memorial weekend. You can't really do much with a broken leg, so, uh, but one thing you can do is you can get out and drive. We're headed up Highway 38. We're at the little cutoff area they call uh, the Matterhorn just behind me a little rock feature and uh, big crowds in that lower canyon as you can see um, but mostly once you pass that it's not bad I, I bet you when we come down the mountain we're gonna see kind of a lot of cars headed out but uh, we're just gonna stay over here and do a little road adventure up the mountain and look for some wildflowers and I basically drive around. I can't hike, so uh, we're just going to drive. There's a couple of little neat little secret spots up here that are not really so secret, but not a lot of people know about it. But there's some little roads up here in Angeles Oaks area that you can cut down and and uh, see some stuff. So we're going we're gonna to show you guys some little clips from our little drive, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Stay tuned. Uh, it's a nice little road you just you can go up or down most most traffic goes up but it doesn't matter it's a two-way road really but you can access this from glass road or you can uh, just catch it in Angeles Oaks pretty nice little drive you could take a car down here um, but in the mud or snow I do not recommend a car you would definitely have a problem but there's a couple of switchbacks like this one here. Just hooly around. When you come down here, you can see the geology of the faulting right there, of the granite. 
a couple of different fault zones down here but there's some water right below us that they have um, draining so if you have mobility you can get out of the car and go down and check out the couple of creeks that flow through here So once you come up the road, this is the waterfall you're looking for. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. Medium flows right now. It's not raging. If you come here in the earlier spring, like March, February, March, this thing it really gets going. It's pretty neat. So we're headed uh, into Seven Oaks now. We reached the base of the hill there. Gonna go check on the resort over here just to see what's going on and see how they recovered. A year ago, they had a massive flood here in uh, February of 19. They had a big flood and it really wiped out the riverbed and took out the campground and pretty much everything down here got destroyed. So we're gonna pull up on it right now and see what's going on. All right, Seven Oaks Resort. It's popping. They got the little pond is still there. Let's go check it out. So here's the little general store, and then just inside here they got the restaurant and some incredible burgers. But if you look just past the trees, you see there's still snow up there on San G. They got the historic uh, old uh, piece of the property right here. It's like an old cabin, uh, kind of like a general meeting area. Pretty awesome. They got the people that work here and campgrounds are going. We'll show you that in a minute. But if you look around, you can see quite a bit of uh, restoration. They worked hard on this property. So we ordered a burger from them just to give them some business. I know they kind of missed out on pretty much all of last year. Um, but here's the menu. Those burgers right there are incredible. I'm telling you right now, guys. Awesome food. But pretty full menu and the food is amazing. It's not like a typical uh, mountain community uh, restaurant most of those are just it's terrible food a lot of it's just garbage but the food here is is really top-notch here at Seven Oaks awesome food so but we're outside and just waiting on the food wife and daughter over there checking out the pond
All right, we got our food. Let's check it out. I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, yeah, that's what we come here for. Check this out, guys. Look at that quality. Unbelievable quality, guys. Those onion rings are something special, too. So, we are just going to share because we ate not long ago. Cut this thing in half, but damn, look at that. So over here at the pond, they got 19 baby ducks and two moms. The campground's pretty full. Looks pretty active. They restored it, which is good because that whole thing got destroyed. This road was just covered in debris. And um, we'll go take a look at that before we leave. Just drive by and show you all the different sites. But yeah, the properties over here at 7X Resort is uh, really recovered. A lot of little duckies. They're kind of all over there right now. So, as you can see, guys, this is a remnant of the flood. You can see that it, the riverbed's blown out. All those big logs you see coming across are from that flood. There's a couple of holes to fish. I mean, there's one right here below us so there's it's not it's not blown out from uh, spots to fish but the riverbed has just changed from when it last uh, before that storm so it's recovering but you can definitely see how high the water came like right over there let me show you guys I'll pull over right here so you can see the river came up to about right there and all this was flooded. Even where I'm parked right here was probably underwater. But there's a couple of holes forming. I mean, this log is creating a nice little habitat right there for some fish. Um, there's probably fish in there now. I suspect the Barbin of Fishing Game has planted a little bit through here. There's not a lot of holes to plant, but there are a few spots. But really pretty. Yeah, you can see right across the way how high the water came right up to there. That's pretty high. It's about four and a half to five feet deep into this riverbed. That's pretty crazy. So here's the campground and just to show you guys, we're going to drive out the way we came in, but I wanted you guys to see. It's pretty, uh, pretty busy and recovered. I, I think what they did is they took a backhoe to it and just kind of leveled it out a little bit but all this was just destroyed but quite a quite a busy weekend up here a lot of people enjoying themselves that's good not my type of camping I, I can't camp that close to a bunch of people but hey for a lot of folks that's good enough Looks like a nice little pond right here. I'm not sure what the plan is for that, but looks like it might be private property anyway. So this is one of the many little stops on the road. We're headed out, but really nice little creek. So that's going to wrap it up for our little uh, little road adventure. Just go check out some stuff, get out of the house on a Memorial weekend. Uh, a couple of updates. Uh, I updated on Patreon, and, and uh, I'm going to update here as well. Ooh, nice NSX. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, so went to the doctor a little over a week ago, and uh, they said there was no bone growth yet. Uh, so no bone union on my broken leg. So pretty much still broken at the time of the meeting. Uh, gonna go back in a little more than two weeks. I have another appointment. And then at that point, um, we'll find out some real information. Hopefully after taking some uh, supplements and some other things, we'll see some bone growth and uh, he'll say I can put some weight on it. 
it's pretty much once I get weight on it, it's all bets are off. I'm going for some walks and it's going to be nice. So, but, uh, the fishing updates, I know I'm lagging on it. There's really nothing I can do guys. I mean, I'm trying to keep up. If you're interested in reports, uh, and up to date information, I'm doing that over on Patreon every week. Um, still staying strong on that. But, uh, as far as the shore, you know, actually going out and fishing, it's just really hard to do right now. So, um, pretty soon though, really soon within two to three weeks, we'll be out there. I'm um, looking at a Utah trip here pretty soon, regardless of how my health goes, because at those lakes, unlike California, you can drive right up to them and, uh, park like feet from the shore. And so that's what I'm going to end up doing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the little adventure. I'm just basically, you know, I wanted to give you guys some updates and some to watch in case you're stuck at home and, and uh, you have cabin fever like I've had for the last two months. <laughs> it's been it's been a challenge to say the least. But we're headed down the mountain. Very crowded coming down. Lots and lots of cars. Pretty much bumper to bumper on the way south uh, down the mountain. So anyway, I'm out, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything fishing related, if you want uh, something more detailed, head over to Patreon. We're still doing quite a bit over there. Uh, just like I said, no, no fishing reports for either Patreon or here on YouTube, uh, from the shoreline. Um, still doing fishing updates over there as far as where to fish, where, what's good, what's bad, all that stuff is still going on over there. Links below. Hopefully you guys are being safe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.